What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today we're gonna break down what each wire, input, and output do on the ATV420. The red cable here is the power cable that runs to the 12 volt of your battery to power your amp. The black cable is the ground cable that runs to the ground terminal of your battery. Then you have the blue wire that acts as the accessory, remote, and ignition wire. You'll wanna run this wire to the ignition of your vehicle so that the amplifier powers on as soon as the vehicle does. We also have have all of our speaker wire to connect some speakers right to the amp. You have the white wires here that act as the channel 1 left speaker output, with the plain wire as the positive and the one with the black stripe as the negative. Next to that you have the gray wires that act as the channel 2 right speaker output, with the plain one as the positive and the one with the black stripe as the negative. Next you have the green wire for the channel 3 left speaker output, with the plain wire as the positive and the one with the black stripe as the negative. And lastly you have the purple wire for the channel 4 right speaker output, with the plain as the positive and the one with with the black stripe as the negative. So to connect your speakers to any of these wires, you're just gonna need some speaker leads. So you're gonna take one end and connect the red wire into the positive wire of whichever channel you're using, and connect the negative to the negative. Then take the other end of the lead and plug that into the positive and negative terminals of your speaker, and repeat this process for however many channels you wanna use. Now one thing to keep in mind is that each channel on the amplifier is two ohm stable. So if you have the amplifier set up in the four channel mode, you can set up two four ohm speakers per channel. You can also have one 2 ohm speaker per channel, or you can bridge two channels together to run a subwoofer at 4 ohms. We also have the RCA inputs for channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to connect a head unit or receiver to the amplifier. So hopefully this showed you guys what each wire, input, and output do for the ATV420. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.